I've been on YouTube for a very long time. In fact, I've been here a lot longer than you think I have, uh, even before this channel started. I had different channels that I started. Um, one of them was like skit based, another one was around music. So I've been producing content for a long time, probably around 10 years now. One of the things I always wanted to do was have a gaming channel and I have that now. I've had that for about five years, but I tried it once before. And that time that I tried it, I was playing one game that I haven't really covered a lot on this channel. So today, as we approach 200 videos, which I, I have something planned for that, by the way, it's going to be a huge celebration. It's going to be awesome. But as we're approaching 200 videos, there's something else I wanted to try. I wanted to return to the game that I tried to launch a gaming channel with, Kerbal Space Program. I actually made several Kerbal Space Program videos, probably around like five to seven, which was a lot for me. I think I released them at one point, but then I shelved them before anybody really noticed them. Like I kind of pushed them away and I think either fully deleted them or I made them private on that old channel. They were just, um, they weren't very entertaining, <laughs> even by my standards. Um, I don't go back and watch a lot of my content. If I do, it's because I'm getting ready to like play it again or just to see like what was working and what wasn't. Even then, back when I was kind of like still just a kid, like I kind of knew like, okay, yeah, this is not entertaining. No one's gonna watch this. So let's try again. Let's see if I've improved with my uh, improvisational skills. I think I already have a few saves on this game, but we're gonna start a new one. Uh, save name, we're gonna... We're gonna go with Jeff. What's a good flag for Jeff? Let's go with this one. I like this one, it's symmetrical. It's cool. Allow quick loading. Missing crews respawn. Yes, but we're gonna increase the timer. We'll make it like seven hours. Actually, we'll, we'll make it like three hours because that's like a whole session of videos for me, it's three hours. I don't know what a lot of this stuff means. That seems okay though. So starting off, we're not gonna do a whole lot of impressive stuff. We mostly just wanna build a rocket that works. First thing we need to do, I think, is get a mission. We can only have two active. Okay, so let's look at the rewards for these because that's what's gonna matter the most. We'll take these two, I guess. And I think all we have to do is launch a vessel and then get scientific data from it. So let's do the uh, space plane hangar. I actually haven't messed around with the space planes a whole lot. This is not a good idea, right? We should have wheels first. We should wait till we have wheels. Screw it. You know, sometimes you can't wait till you have the right materials, guys. Sometimes you just have to go with it. What could possibly go wrong? How do I zoom in? Is there a way to do that? I don't think there is. Okay, you doing good in there, Jeb? Observe the mystery goo, Jebediah. Give me a crew report. So doing those two things gives us like science points and we get more if we retrieve the vessel. Now, to be honest, I don't think this thing is gonna go which is probably for the best. We probably didn't want this to work. That's fine, we'll recover the vessel. And now we get science points. We should have completed that quest. Let's see if we did it. Okay, okay yeah, we did that. Okay, so now we need to escape the atmosphere. An altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve this goal. Well, it's gonna be a lot easier than orbiting Kerbin, so we'll accept that one. Can we go ahead and research anything? That one gets us some or communitrons. I don't know what those do, but we would get a decoupler, which is important. However, this also gets us different fuel engines, which is probably important as well. So we'll research this one. What we will do, we didn't buy the decoupler, which is fine. We're gonna put a parachute on here. Yeah, well, we'll go ahead and launch this bad boy. We're also gonna name this thing. All right, let's go launch the GoGo -Go Jeff Mark One. Ready, Jeb? Here we go, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we kinda, we kinda recovered it. Okay, we're out of fuel, which is probably for the best. We're gonna deploy our parachute now. This could have gone a lot worse. This could have been a much, much worse. Jeb, can you give me a report, please? Why is the parachute um not deploying? I feel like it should have deployed by now. There we go. Please slow us down a lot more than what you're already doing. Okay, we should be okay. And gently, we're fine. We touched down. That was planned. That was just a. Uh, that was just our way of landing with style. So it's fine. We got a lot of science from that. We didn't achieve our goal. I don't think. Oh no, we did because we we launched a vessel. 
We have many more goals now. Testing these is probably a lot easier. We'll, we'll get we'll get some research stuff first, and then we'll go over there and figure out what we want to do. Uh, we'll want decouplers, so we'll go ahead and get that. We have 21 left. We can get general rocketry, survivability, or stability. In all honesty, we probably want to get survivability. We'll come back for this other stuff. We also now have $129,000. Uh, to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here, um, and like where we can go and what we can do. Um, let me go. Here we go. This is a tracking station. So we can zoom out here. And you see here we've got our home planet. What is all this stuff here? There's a different launch site. I didn't know there were different launch sites. Well, that's cool. Okay, then it's showing us where potential quests are as well, which is also nice. But, this is our home planet here. We have a moon we can go visit. And another moon we can go visit. This is the only thing I've ever landed on before. Uh, this here is the farthest thing that I've visited. I have orbited, uh, I think it's called Minimus or Minmus. I have orbited that before, but I haven't been any farther than that. We can go to other planets, and you can see here, We've got our own little solar system. So there's uh, Eve, Molio, is that what that is? Then there's Duna. And we go even further out here. We've got Drace. I think that's Drace, yeah. Then Jewel. And then way out here is Elu. We can even... I think we can zoom in. Yeah, there's Elu. It's kind of uh, this game's version of Pluto. Whereas Jewel is kind of this game's version of Jupiter. It's got several moons we can go visit. So uh, there's a lot to potentially do in this game. It just takes a while to actually get anywhere. We're probably going to be stuck on Kerbin for a little while. But ideally, I would like to go visit another planet at some point. It would take a while to do, but that's, that's my goal. Before we can get to other planets, we have to do cool stuff on Kerbin. So, we'll do some cool stuff on Kerbin. So these these ones, we like fly to a specific place and then we do this observation thing. I don't like these because it's kind of hard to direct rockets where to go. So we're just going to... I know we have a decoupler. I think it also gives you the thing to test before, like even if you don't have it. So we'll get... Um, we'll just do two of these. Well, we can only have one right now. Um, there's also upgrades we can get. Here we go. Okay, so this is where we can upgrade stuff. Buying different upgrades for different places, you know, lets us do more different things, I guess. I don't know if I'm explaining this well. Probably not. The thing I want to upgrade that would be nice is getting uh, mission control upgraded. This would let us have more contracts. We're going to go ahead and get this upgrade. I I think we only started out with like $25,000, so the fact that we've got this money, this or this much money this quickly is pretty good. Plus, we can always trade science for money, so let's go ahead and uh, get that upgrade. Alright, so we have seven active ones, so we need to test the hammer solid fuel booster, the flea solid fuel booster, the decoupler... I think those are the three that we can test. So hammer, flea, decoupler. Those are the those are the three we can test without being in flight. Uh, go go Jeff, you have been wondrous so far, but we need something else right now. Okay. And you are not the Go-Go Jeff Mark 1. You are, instead of the taste tester, you are the test taster Mark 1. Okay, save. Let's go to launch. We probably should have put wings on this, but we'll be fine. Well, don't do that. Thank you. Run test. Everything seems to be running normal so far. You good in there, Jeb? Jeb's fine. Um, 
There we go. Okay. Okay. We're going to log the temperature for science purposes. We're also going to get a uh, crew report if we can. Give me a quick crew report, Jeb. Oh, we made it to, uh, made it into whatever. Okay. Well, we're going to test this now. Um, we're actually going to point ourselves this away and run test. Look at that guys. We're out in outer space. There's the moon. I think it's possible to see the other moon somewhere along this line. It's kind of like a dot. I don't know if it's in view though. Um, so we're going to get another crew report here because I think we can actually get something more valuable. We can go ahead and transmit this. Oh, I don't have a comms device attached. Well, that would that would make sense, wouldn't it? All right, so you should be able to see now at the top of the screen, we're falling back towards curb, and you can also see our speed down here is increasing. So we are uh, we are falling. We're gonna be hitting the atmosphere in a little bit, so I think we we should be fine. We should probably be at an angle for this. Yeah, like probably like this. We're probably gonna take some heat damage, but we should be okay. Oh, okay, something just blew up. That was our decoupler. Hoping that wasn't our parachutes too. I think it was just... Hmm. So it was more than just our decoupler, it was actually our parachutes as well, and also the pod that uh, Jebediah Kerman was in. So, that's a bummer. So we do have the option to revert to launch. Uh, we can also revert to vehicle assembly, or we can go back to the tracking station, and uh, if we do that, it kind of accepts what just happened. So we don't have to have that actually happen. I don't think that's a huge problem. We'll just go back to the space center. We still got 200, <laughs> we still got like 200k from that, so I'll take it. There's also something over here. I don't know what this is. Okay, so Jeb, Jeb is dead. Uh, he should respond in like three hours based on the settings that I set up. Yeah, we completed, um... Oh, right, because we did bring... Do did we, did we have to bring back the test results? Because it definitely counted that because we have... In, in our archives, we have Escape the Atmosphere Complete. I did test one of these at the launch site. Is the hammer... Oh, wait, I think I tested the thumper on accident. And then the, it didn't count the flea because the flea wasn't at the launch site. It was, we tested the wrong rocket, I think. And then we also don't really need to be testing two rockets at once because that won't work. Well, we could test one at the launch pad and then test another one in mid-flight. That would work, wouldn't it? Thumper needs to be tested in flight. So if we just swapped the thumper with the flea, theoretically that would work. Welcome to the world, test taster mark two. All right, Valentina, after Jeb's noble sacrifice, you are now our head pilot. We need to um, not have that decoupler be there, though. Booster, decouple, booster, decouple, parachutes, decouple. Okay, got it. Run test. Very nice. Decouple. Run test. That's fine. Valentina is really enjoying this flight. She's having a great time. It's nothing too bad just yet. Sometimes your rockets can just fly wildly out of control. So now that once we hit 70,000 meters, We've escaped the atmosphere. If we can get, I think it's the apoapsis of our trajectory above 70,000 and the periapsis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these correctly or if this is even the correct words, but if both the apoapsis and the periapsis are both above 70,000 meters, we will get a sustainable orbit around the planet. We can't do this just yet because we need more boosters on the rocket like ready to go for when we're in 70,000 meters and above the atmosphere but that's how we get into orbit i doubt we're going to do that this video i'm hoping these heat shields hold together they should they should keep us in the game if they don't work i'm gonna i'll revert back and say valentina because i think she's our last pilot right now i'm pretty sure we only start with jeb and valentina all right we should see some resistance right about now 
Parachutes did not work. I'm not sure why they didn't work. We had a hard re-entry there too. Um, okay, so we'll have to revert. Okay, I think we blew the decoupler a little too early. I was kind of worried though. I just wanted my parachutes to activate, so that's probably fine. We successfully managed to get another Kerbal to die, apparently. So, great. I'll come back next time when I have figured out why my Kerbals keep dying. Bye for now.